All right, everybody, let's start this shit. Time flies podcast with this is a poet. Uh, episode twenty eight already. Damn, twenty eight. We're gonna hit that big thirty. The thirty. We gotta do something special for the thirty, you know? Or nah, let's wait till the fifty. The fifty is a, is a special one, right? That should be by the end of the year, hopefully. If we make it that far, oh, I think you know. I think these are gonna think things are gonna start opening up. Little, little by little, things are starting to open up. Hospitals are still full, but they say that the uh, virus, uh, you know, people are less people are getting uh, uh, what they call con- contagious, infected. What's his name? Infected. I got my assist- my assistant here with me. Um, but who knows, man? I don't know. I'm, I'm still afraid. I'm not. I'm still being a little bitch with the whole going to the restaurants and sitting down. Uh, uh, I feel afraid. You know, it's not much me. It's my. Here's the thing about girls, all right? Yeah, I, I'm gonna say something. Here's the thing about women, okay? You, you ladies. Ugh. If it wasn't for y'all, honestly, we we would all uh, us guys. We would literally just. We would be trash, bro, if we didn't have the ladies. Because the ladies are the ones that I don't. No, don't bring him in this house. I don't know where he's been. And I go, it's my homie. It's my, my boy. He's just going to come in. No, I don't want to get sick. And hear my family is sick because I ha- I don't know where the fuck. <sighs> then you got to go tell the homie. Yeah, no, nah, it's because uh, hey, go on the way. Everything good. Yeah, well, hold on. Chill, 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 chill. What's up, fool? Okay. Chill, 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 chill. It's because uh, el pelo es que la... My girl, you know, my, my girl tripping. You, know you got to make her the bad guy. When you should, she's she's fucking taking care of everybody. You know, she's taking care of the business situation. And you should listen. She's right. Pero nosotros, we, we're just so like, oh, all right, it's all good. I mean, I trust you. Uh, the honor system. I trust you. You're my best friend. Yeah, get the hell inside here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's fine. <laughs> get the hell in here. I know you just we were kids. If it wasn't for them, we would. I would have been catching the Rona. Pero también. <sighs> I honestly would go to these restaurants and I would sit down and have you know a meal and just like that. I, I was excited when I heard that the they were opening up. I was like, oh for sure, I'm done. Hey babe, we gotta make it. No, Mm-mm. we're not. No, nah, but they're opening the everything's opening back up. Everything's opening back up. We we, we good. No, uh, no, we're not. It's not good. Have you seen the numbers? It's crazy out there. Like, man, I was this close. I was this close. To having a sit down place, having some lasagna at an Italian spot, mm, some ramen. Oh, but no, no, it's not good enough. Outside seating, twenty percent. No thanks. That's just a fine recipe for some coronavirus. Chinga, my hombre. Fine, we won't go. Fine. Then good luck with Valentine's Day. Yeah, I said it. Valentine's Day is going to be cheese and crackers in this motherfucking house. Anyways, um, man. <sighs> cheese and crackers. Yeah, me tocó me un cheese and cracker, un platito de cheese and crackers. Dude, I fucking make a kid. What's it, what's it called? The the, the ch- chakuri. Chakuri. Doesn't it sound like a like a fucking, <laughs> like a weird ass spice? Chakuri. It's chakuri. Chakuri. It sounds like a... <laughs> I just feel like a fucking Los Lo Paisa chicks that like are all like presitas, you know? Like I feel like that's something they would say. Oye, le gusta chakuri? It's chakuri. It's bueno porque it's chakuri. Chakuri board, right? What did I, how do I say? Chakuri? Chakuri board? It's cheap. It's fucking cheese. Cheese plate. Cheese and meat plate, okay? Pero they want to fancy it up chakuri. I make a fucking sick ass plate, bro. I'll put some fucking pictures right here of the plates that I do myself, dude. I make a sick ass plate. If you guys, okay, if you guys haven't had those cheese, you, know, you guys seen the cheese plates, but you want to get like, you know, like different types of cheese so you can try them out and like, you know, you don't know the like, you don't know where to, how to jump in because that's the thing. You don't know how to jump into these things and how to make those cheese and meat plates. And you don't know what's going on. You don't know what to mix it with or to blend it. And they're kind of expensive. You don't want to go through the whole process of figuring out what cheese you like. Everybody has a different palette of a uh, flavor of cheese in, that they like in their, in, their, in their mouths. Everybody has a different type of palette. Here's the thing, dude. Here's my basic. Here's my go-to. 
if you guys want to just try it out, all right? For meats, all right, for people at home, for meats, here's the three things that you want to just, your basics, all right? Your basics, you can't go wrong. You're going to like these. Uh, prosciutto, okay? That's como was, me figura como un jamoncito. It's like a jamoncito taste. It's fucking, but it's thin. It's nice. Mmm. I like it. Go to the deli department of anywhere. You can go to fucking Albertsons. You can go to fucking Vons or, or Safeway if you guys have that. Uh, go ask for prosciutto, right? Thin, thin slice. And, you know, you can just tell them, like, I want, like, four bucks of prosciutto, right? You know, they all, I, I, I hate, it's intimidating because you don't know how to fucking order. You know what? I didn't know. I end up on all the white people. Oh, yeah, can I get a half a pound, a quarter pound, uh, can I get a third of a... Th- I'm like, I don't know. I know my math not so bueno with me. I didn't focus on math. So I just say the number. And I just want $4 of this. Everybody's looking at me. $4? Are you cheap, mother? I don't give a fuck. $4. Sometimes I ask for $2. She gets all shy. Baby, that's like, that's like small. I don't give a fuck. That's how much I want to spend. $2. Two fifty, motherfucker. So I asked for like 4 bucks of prosciutto. I mean, $3. That's what you want to do. Prosciutto, right? Then you want to do dry salami. Oh, I like dry salami. Dry Italian salami, all right? Uh, that one's good, too. Get that. And then you want to get pepperoni. Then. And ask them for what you want. You want? I want to make a meat and cheese plate, so can I get them thin? You want to make the thin slice, all right? So now you have your meats. You're there. You're halfway there, all right? Now for the cheese. I would like to go, when it comes to cheese, I, my go-to is, my go-to is cheddar, right? It's like a go-to. Everybody likes cheddar, okay? Now, if you want to take it to, a, like, a, a fancy level, like a little, like, a, a step up, a fancy level, go with age cheddar. Anything, it says age, excuse me? Are you laughing? Go with the little with age. It's called age cheddar, or I, I do extra sharp age cheddar. Oh, it's the best. That shit right there. And then also, if you want to, I mean, if you want another like type of cheddar that 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 I like too, smoked cheddar. That shit is fucking bomb. I like that. I like that. And there's the, I mean, there's one that's uh, um, what the fuck is it called? The har 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 what? Harvet, Harvel, Har, Har, Havarti. Oh yeah, Havarti cheese. I mean, Havarti cheese instead of uh, of mozzarella, just get Harvarti cheese. Esa madre, way we'll take it. Ooh, so she got Miami. Get some of Get that. That's all you. That's the fucking basics, bro. Right? Get some of that or a fucking mozzarella, dude. You're fucking set, dude. You're good. Okay. Mozzarella with prosciutto. Those mix right there. Ooh, so she got That's the best. Huh? I don't like jam. She likes jam. I don't like jam. That sweet shit. Sometimes you can put some some jam on it, and you know, little get a little crackers, and get some jam in there. Ooh, and then you get some uh, olives. Always have. I like. I like the olives. Get some olives or some pickled fucking uh, pepperoncinis. Hey, style. That's all you need. La neta. That's all you need to have a cool little fucking meat and cheese plate. Watch a nice scary movie. Oh, just eat some crackers. That's how we do it. Oh, my God. You want to get some wine and be a fancy bitch? Go right ahead. Go right ahead. But I recommend you guys try something like that, okay? And why the fuck am I talking about this? Why? Why am I talking about cheese plates? Meat and cheese. Why am I talking about this? Why am I talking about this? I don't even know why the fuck I started talking about this. Oh, my God. What a fucking day. I just got back from playing golf. Night golf. Night golf, um, yeah, I've been killed. I've been, I've been honestly, man. I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to brag, but my golf game has been to par. I've been getting some greens. You know what I'm saying? I've been landing on the greens. The white people are looking at us like I don't belong. I thought you were the gardener. Do you know what hole the five is? I don't know what fucking. I don't know. I'm playing too. Oh, you're playing? Oh. I thought you work here. <laughs> hey, Bill, he works here. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, what the hell? I'm like, fuck you, bitch. I play too, motherfucker. Right? Um, 
Yeah, I've been I've been stepping on my game. It's just like I wish I could play soccer, but la neta way, I'm afraid to get that you know the whole COVID shit with the soccer. That's how like last time I tried to play with a group of guys, they got sick because they were playing. No mask. It's like, bro, like I get it. Like so if you don't believe that, sh- cool. But wear the fucking mask. When I'm playing soccer, I wear the fucking mask. I'm fine. Fucking almost dying over there, but I'll, I wear the mask. Some of them don't wear the mask, and they get sick, and then they have a little and now I'm like, nah, I don't want to fucking play. Fuck that. I'd rather not play. La neta. I'd rather just fucking go home, watch a movie, eat, gain fucking weight, right? Gain fucking weight. <sighs> I gain weight fucking fast now, dude. Now, before, it would take me a while to get a belly, but now, if I fuck up two or three days of just junk food or whatever I want, by Leo Mare, where I start from Otra vez, the belly's out. I got man titties. It's fucking uncomfortable. I, I don't wear white tees no more because I have man titties. Like, I looked at my shit like I look like a fucking girl in fifth grade uh, about to hit puberty. Like, I, I'm about to get these fucking titties. Right? It's fucking gross. I, I don't like taking off my shirt now because I'm just like, I just want to. I've been doing push ups trying to get the fucking the pack because that's the wrong way. Sometimes I, I'll. Sometimes I jack off and grab my tit, my, my my boob and be like, oh goddamn, it's a titty, it's a titty. Um, but yeah, dude, fuck that. Um, so that's all we can do right now, right? Just be at home, at home with your loved ones, uh, watching Netflix, uh, picking out a good show. I binge watch every cool show. Yeah, I know, no, I know that way. I've been, I've been watching that one show on Netflix, the. Bling Empire with con los chinitos, way shit, dude. Those fucking fucking chinitos are rich, dude. Jesus fucking Christ, those guys. And there's titties in there too. If you guys want to see some titties, they're like old titties, but oh, she whipped them out for one. I was like, oh, titties, damn, bitch, don't give a fuck. But yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty much Asian people that are super rich and they just go out and they just spend and they live their fucking lavish lifestyle, and it's like. Crazy that people can be that fucking filthy rich, like la neta way. Like it's just, I don't know what I'll do if I was that rich to just go travel and do some other. Shit. Like I would be, if I was that rich, I would I would do some wild shit. Like I would be a fucking like. I think, I would, have a weird ass hobby. I'll be a pervert. I'll t- it's just like. There's no way you can't be a pervert if you're that rich. Just like, for also, rich people aren't normal. They're just not. They don't live a normal life. Some of these people that are like, oh, rich people, they're so they're weird, and perverts. And like, yes, they're fucking, they don't live like us. They're not like us. They don't have the same fucking mentality like we do. They have so much power, right? That's why I get blown away when people say, oh, all these fucking, like, all these, they put the famous people on blast, like, oh, the, uh, T, like right now, right now, Ti is getting in trouble, right? Ti and his chick that they would bring girls to the bedroom, they would all hook up and just fucking do a little gangbang. It's like, yeah, they're rich. They're into some wild shit. The normal nine to five fucking missionary style fucking having sex. Those days are over for them. They're into some. They want to experience weirder shit. They're into a different fucking lifestyle. No, my way. Of course they're gonna. And why are people so shocked? Like Weinstein, when he's over there jacking off in front of people, like, yeah, that, he's rich, he's weird, he's into some other level shit right now, right? One thing I would say about those ladies that walk in on them, just leave, walk out. If you don't like what you see, bye, bitch, bye, get the fuck out of there. I, well, man, my mom lives in a ranch, dude, I swear to God, half those motherfuckers are into some wild shit. I bet you that they fuck around with goats and, and they're not even rich. Imagine if they had some money. God damn, they'll be into some wild shit over there. Everybody knows a motherfucker in Mexico that, that's into some nasty shit. You're like, ooh, I heard stories about that guy. And there's always that one uncle that nobody wants to bring their kids around. No, 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 con Nicolás no, porque no, mejor no, vete. Déjalo en paz, no, no, no. When the kid gets loud, ¿dónde está? ¿Dónde está el, el compa? Hijo, su chica, los niños. Because there's a weird ass pervert uncle. Oh, boy. Good times. Mexico, great times. Uh, I got to go to Mexico, man. I, I, I'm missing out. I miss Mexico. You know, Mexico's not the same. 
but I want to go back. I miss the food. I miss the whole culture. I miss the family. I want to go back to Mexico. This whole fucking corona needs to stop, man. The coronavirus, we got to go back to normal. People got to take the vaccine. I'm not taking it. I already told you. Because I'm scared. I'm afraid that I have bad luck. I am afraid that when I take the fucking vaccine, I'm going to grow a third fucking arm. I already got a third leg. And I don't want to, like, I know that something bad's going to happen to me if I take it. So I don't even have, I'm not even in the mood for that shit. So I'm not going to take the fucking vaccine. I'm just not. I'm just going to wait on it. I'm going to try to work out, eat healthy. I'm going to, I said I'm going to try. Because fuck that. Imagine getting a fuck, growing a third eye, fourth nipple. I said fourth nipple like if I had a third nipple, no mother's man. Fuck that, man. Some weird, man, some weird fucking people. And I started, started going, my, my brain just started running around with that weirdo shit, like weird people. I think it's because I've been watching that show on Netflix, The Men, the, the Mind Hunters, dude. I've been watching that show. If you guys haven't seen it, dude, it's about these FBI agents. They pretty much started the whole, like, they pretty much started the, the whole uh, serial killer, like, school of fucking, of, no, the, they didn't start the whole... Uh, okay. they These FBI agents, right, were investigating these crimes that like, people would do. And, you know, obviously they put the name serial killer into these crimes, the guys that, you know, kept killing repetitively. And they started to do a school about it. They are like, you know what, we're going to go teach cops and teach them, like, what these people are capable of, why they do this, how to catch these people. So it's pretty much a series about those two police officers, right, that developed this this program at, in the FBI. And it's pretty cool because they interview some of the serial killers. These are real serial killers that, like, actually uh, got caught, and they would go interview them and stuff. And I like I liked the show, but it starts, like, talking about, like, their psyche and why they did what they did. So I started thinking, dude, no mommy's way, because there's this what? Oops. <clears throat> oh, I kicked it off. I started thinking, like, because I, I, they were explaining why they did all this, and I started thinking, like, dude, low-key, I done some weird shit like that. Like, I could have been a serial killer. For real. Like, there's certain shit that I saw that the way that they thought, that like, I thought like that. Right? The way that they would, this guy would, like, torture animals. I didn't torture animals, but, like, I didn't, like, go to that extent. But, like, I did, like, experiment with, like, lizards and stuff. I would catch lizards. I would fucking dissect them and do some weird shit because I was intrigued with like how the body looked inside and I ended up coming like a fucking weirdo bro I was going on a fucking rabbit hole I was going on a black hole of some like dissecting insects and shit it was fucking gross but then when they were talking about that I got nervous because I was like oh my god that, that, that sounds like me that's some shit that I would do fuck that's gross oh no like I could have man I'm telling you right now I, I was this close to kill him, motherfuckers. Right? You, you would, I, I would, you would have been right there in the news, just like, because I killed motherfuckers. I didn't give a fuck. I didn't, I was heartless. If my parents didn't didn't love me the way they did, I would have been killing motherfuckers, man. That's what I tell myself to sound hard. You know what I mean? I'd be like, you look at, hey dog, hey homie, you look at my parents love me, dogs. I would have fucking man. I swear to God, I would have, you know, I swear to God, I would have fucked you up. I tell myself that. I really think that I could have been a fucking thug, a gangster, if it wasn't for my parents that loved me, right? That's what keep. That's what keeps me. You know what I mean? That's what keeps me grounded. You know, lucky they they, they, love, they had love for me. Cause I could have been out here killing motherfuckers, jacking your shit. But mom and daddy, man, they love me. My mom more than my dad. My dad, uh, my dad was literally that guy. Uh, just got off work. Hey, no, no, no. That's that. I don't know what it was about me that I had so much energy, dude. I had ADHD, man. You know, walk in the house, I would just be dancing. And my dad would just be, hey, 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 yeah. Estuvo bien, compa. Vengo del trabajo. And you're dancing, como pinche gay boy. Calmate, cabrón, calmate. I'm like, what? I'm, I'm like happy. Like, I can't be happy. No, cabrón, I've been in work all day. My head is tight. Y tú andas ahí bailando. Y, like Selena. Y tú andas ahí. No mames, cabrón. Vete para afuera mejor, güey. Para afuera mejor. Jeez, dude, I can. 
You're too happy. You're too happy. Like it's like that's a problem now. You're too happy. Get the hell. Vete pa allá, güey. Anda muy happy para para mí ahorita. Get the fuck. All right, whatever. Jeez, a jerk. Too happy. I was too happy. <laughs> I remember. Uh, I was because I would have so much energy, man. I, I remember like. I remember I was a kid that would just like get excited like really quick, and. <laughs> just fucking, just I just I don't know what I'll do. I'll just get excited. I remember I'll start kicking the fucking air when somebody would come in the house, like a, like a relatives or like like come over, and I'll just start kicking the house, the, the air, punching in the air, getting excited. And my dad would just get upset. Hey, ay, ay, calmate, cabrón. Chinga, man, hombre, eres muy acelerado. Mira todos, andan calmados. I look around, everybody's just like sitting down. I'm the only one fucking dancing, punching the air. Fuck, I was a kid. What do you want me to do? Jeez. I also had ADHD. Hello. I was born this way. Right? I remember when they told me I had ADHD, they set me down. They were like, well, we did a couple of tests. We uh, ran a couple of experiments. And um, your son has this thing that we like to call a hyperactive disorder. It's uh, form of it's like, like an ADHD and he uh, has too much energy and doesn't know how to like control himself and so yeah we're gonna give him these this medication and then my mom ah oh oh my god ah my dad right away chinga mad anymore because salió pendejo este cabrón and then the translator's like no señor I'm sorry let me cut you off Señor, no, su hijo no es, no es pendejo, nomás tiene mucha energía. No, 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 me, no, mira, no usan palabras que yo ya sé, es pendejo, ya lo sé. Los, yo sé lo que me quieres decir. Lo están haciendo, you're saying things so he doesn't feel bad. In my house, we talk con la verdad, with the truth. Tell him the truth, don't lie to the kid, don't lie, tell him. Es pendejo, es ok, es ok, tell him. Mijo, ni modo, saliste el pendejo, cabrón. Um, what? Am I really pendejo? Oh my God, no. Señor, por favor, no es pendejo su hijo, y nomás tiene mucha energía. Y le, oh, ok, la, ok, ok, está bien, está bien, energía. Bueno, energía. Vamos, mira nomás la cara que trae. Um, anyways. And the lady's like, okay, I don't know what just happened. But, yeah, so he's going to want to take two of these a day. And, 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 and my mom, ay, Dios mío, Jesus. ¿Cómo, y cómo te sientes? I swear to God, dude, that whole day my mom kept asking me questions. We were eating, and I'm just like, normal. I'm not putting the fucking... Everything I did, they were like analyzed. Like, I saw him like stare at me. Like, I will get the plate, I will spin it around. I remember I used to like eat it in a certain way, so I will turn the plate, I will look at it. I like my glass right there, and I look up, and then my mom's just like, ¿Qué estás pensando? Mijo, ¿qué, ahorita qué estás pensando cuando moviste las cosas? ¿Qué, qué piensas? ¿Cómo piensas? Ay, no sé, nomás. O sea, que me gusta la soda ahí, porque... Ah, bueno, ay, Dios mío. Ay, and my dad, hijo, so she was like, no más come, cabrón, just eat, just eat the food. No le hagas tanto de pedo, cabrón. Me desespera que, que no la juegues. No más porque te dijeron que eres pendejo, no se me fija que, 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 que la net no puedes hacer nada, cabrón. No piensas, no, no, no escuches lo que, dice, lo que dicen ellos, güey. I'm just like, fuck, dude, am I fucking going crazy here? Jeez. I got it off of somebody. I got it off of... Like her or you, like it's so funny too. Like when they were explaining my dad what it is exactly, they were trying to explain to him. They were just like, it, it's hilarious. He was like, like, um, it's gonna be hard for him to listen and hear certain things because he gets distracted and his mind goes off in another place, and he, uh, so he's gonna be a little distracted in school. He's gonna have difficulty uh, learning and stuff. And then the lady was translating. She's like, si, es que no va a poder entender mucho la, la plática de la maestra porque su mente anda pensando muchas cosas. Tiene mucha energía. My mom, ah, sí. 
¿Ves, gordo? ¿Ves? And my dad, ¿eh? Hey, ¿Qué pasó? They were like, they're just talking about how he can't focus. And, and my dad's like, ¿qué? Oh, oh, Simón, Simón. No, pues, pinche morro, pues, así, así va a ser su vida, ni modo. Y, y, y señora, ¿y, y, ¿y cómo agarró esto? ¿O qué? ¿Fue una comida? o Porque mi señora, el, si le se le... Mira, cuando andaba chiquito, se le cayó. Pero no, no así, digamos, que, que lo tiró, así, no, no lo tiramos. Pero así se nos cayó. Eh, así agarró esa enfermedad por esa caída, porque se dio un putazo, hijo su... La neta, yo lo vi y dije, se murió el cabrón, ya se valió mal. Por el putado se, se lo dio, ¿verdad? Eh, eh. Mm, no creo que es el putazo, es así su cerebro, así va a ser. Ah, ok, no, porque, bueno, yo digo, yo digo que es el putazo. I think my dad had ADHD, man. I could tell he has ADHD. Sometimes I talk to him and he talks about three different things at once. And I'm like... This guy's crazy just like me. Right? A lot of people don't know what the fuck that is. Like, I think a lot of people have it, right? That's like a common thing. I think everybody's just supposedly has ADHD. Because everybody now has like fucking anxiety and depression. It's kind of fucked up when people that actually do have anxiety and depression and they're like, motherfucker, you do. And people tell me like, do I get a lot of anxiety? I'm like, no, you do not. Like, no, the fuck. Like, oh, I get, dude, I get a lot of anxiety. I get, like, I, I'm anxiety. I'm anxious right now. No, no, motherfucker, no, you don't. I have anxiety. Anxiety is like when your body's, like, literally, your heart's racing. It's like you're just running a fucking marathon, and your body's on fire, just, like, racing. And there's nothing going on. Like, literally, you're watching TV, and your body's reacting, like, as if you're, like, working out. It's like going to fucking, that's a panic attack and anxiety at the same time. Anxiety is like when every little thing is like, oh shit, is this, is this an issue? Is this a problem? Like all paranoid. That's what that's what I deal with, and there's nothing going on. You know how long it took me for me to be like, oh shit, that's just how I'm gonna live my life. I just gotta relax. I gotta cool down, right? You know how many times I freaked the teacher out when I was a kid, just going like, oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, and I would just run outside and they'd be like, what the fuck just happened? I was, we were reading a fucking book. We were reading about Harry Potter, and he just ran outside talking about he's going to die. Is he on drugs? Is that kid Is that kid in my classroom that ran outside, is he on drugs? I freaked everybody out, right? I remember I went over to my fucking uncle's house, and my uncle, this motherfucker, dude, I had an uncle, man. For the longest time, I could not, I couldn't watch like scary movies. I don't like scary movies. I don't, I don't watch it because I'm the type of guy that believes in the scary movie. You know how you like, like one movie that freaked me the fuck out was Final Destination. My uncle, dude, put this movie on. Like he, I remember my uncle. I, I remember he uh, bought a DVD player. It was the first time the DVD was played out. Remember when it was like a, he had a five like DVD disc changer. Like a, a big one. He bought a big DVD player. Had put five DVDs. And that's when DVDs were coming out. That was like the thing, right? And he came to the house. And then he was showing it off to us. Like, compadre, I got un pinche DVD player. I una película en la casa. And then he just invited us to come over. He's like, ¿Quieren, ¿quieren para la casa ustedes? ¿Quieren ir? We're going to watch a movie right now at the house. And los, me los llevo. And my dad's like, wow, bueno, llévatelo. Take him. So he let us go spend the night at my uncle's house, right? We go, dude. And my uncle, uh, I think he took us to, uh, I think he took us to Blockbuster so we could pick out a movie. And uh, and my oldest cousin, he was the one that was choosing for us, for the kids. Because my aunt picked the movie and then we had to pick one for the, he had to pick for all of us. So he, he spoke for us, right? And, you know, my older cousin, so he's like, hey, I'm going to watch this movie, dog. We're going to watch Final Destination. I'm like... Is it scary? Like, it looks scary. It's like, nah, fool, it ain't fucking scary, dog. It's like, it's just about, like, crazy shit that happens in the world, dog. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, because it, it's in, like, the scary side. You know, remember Blockbuster, bro? They would have, like, the fucking comedies on one side, horror on the other side, suspense on one side. So everything was split up, and it was, like, borderline horror and suspense. So I was like, I don't know, dude. It, uh, it's, you're on the fucking... 
you're on the line right now, dude, or is it this way or this way? So then he was telling me, no, nah, it's about crazy used to happen. So we got that movie, dude, and I just the, the cover alone made me feel like, yeah, this is going to be a scary fucking movie. I could just tell. And then the fucking opening, remember the opening menu when it just like, it says play, select scenes, extra footage, no sé qué vergas, and I'm just like, oh, God. Just like that main menu had like a little mini preview what the fucking movie's going to be about. And I was like, oh, shit, yeah, this is going to be fucking intense. For a kid who's dealing with anxiety, right, and a fear of death. Like, I was, at that age, I was afraid of death. I was afraid of dying. Just the thought of death, like, where do we go from here? What happens to our body? What's going to happen? That was, like, in my head, that was one of the cause of my anxiety. So I couldn't be fucking watching this shit. Pero in the 90s? They didn't give a fuck about how you feel. They didn't give a fuck about your, what you're dying. That was my, my, my uncle. I told my uncle, Tío, podemos ver like una película como like, no sé, de Disney, como Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid. Ay, cosa chingada. Little Mermaid. No seas mamón, cabrón. Hoy tengo una película chila. No, es chila, güey. No tengas, no pienses esa madre, güey. Porque te vas a volver loco, güey. Si piensas de esas cosas, te vuelves loco. Mejor no pienses, güey. And I'm already thinking like, oh, shit, so am I going to go crazy if I keep thinking about this? Is this what I'm fucking thinking about now? What the fuck? And so I'm just trying to snap out of it. I'm trying to act like tough. And then he puts on the movie. And dude, right off the bat, you guys seen the fucking Final Destination movie, right? The first fucking scene just takes off from the plane and just fucking blows up. Holy fuck. I was the first, I'm like, oh shit, I'm never going in a fucking plane. Holy shit. It fucking just, like my fucking brain was like, oh God. Oh. <laughs> like that, everybody else is watching like, damn, I'm right here. Oh, oh, oh my fucking, what am I seeing these images? And it just fucked, fucked me up, dude. When the movie was over, they were like, all right, man. My uncle turned it off. Ah, ta ta chila, ta ta, ta chila, pinche película, vea, güey. And I'm just like, huh, yeah. Oh, vamos a dormir, güey, vamos a dormir. He didn't know, like, when I went to go sleep in my, uncle, my uncle's house, they didn't know that I didn't sleep. Like, the way that they sleep is different than the way I slept. Like, I had, like, a little routine where my mom would leave the bathroom light on for me because I needed a light and didn't want to, you know, my mom would leave the light on for me. And she would crack the door open because my the my room is like close to the hallway and I could see the light and it was like, you know, my uncle, they air black pitch black. I see the young way black everything lights off. Wow, <laughs> dormir. And I'm just like, dude, I'm literally in the sheets like, holy shit, like, I'm just thinking about the movie. I'm thinking about things that could get me killed. Like, holy shit. I, I was thinking like a spider can just crawl up on me, bite me, and then I'm fucking dead. Like, all these things, the whole fucking night, I kept thinking about this. I kept moving. I kept thinking. I kept, like, moving around. All oh, was the word. I saw my uncle. He, uh, my uncle. I saw my cousin, and he's asleep. And I'm just like, fuck, dude. My other fucking older cousin, he's asleep. My little brother's passed out. And I'm just like, fuck, dude. Who am I going to talk to? I'm just literally waiting for them to wake up. I saw the sun come up, dude. I saw the fucking, the room go from black to blue to the fucking light and to fucking, I didn't sleep at all that night, dude. I was fucking, when I got home, I was literally just like eyes open, just like a crackhead, like, fuck, I need some sleep. Holy shit, I just saw some fucking traumatizing fucking scenes. That is the worst movie to show a fucking kid with anxiety dude after that dude i was fucking traumatized about life i'm like everything can fucking kill you holy shit that door don't open it too far holy crap My, the little stove remember that scene with the stove the i'm like oh ma se va quemar la casa que paso mijo calmate cabron nada va a pasar oh just thinking about that brings me memories give me little flashbacks hot flashes ah <sighs> but I've been working on been working on my shit. I've been working on my anxiety. I've been working out. Uh, it, you know what's been helping me is uh, a little bit of meditation, right? Weed does not help. People tell me, like, you got to smoke a little weed, fool, a little CBD. Blah, 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 blah. No, it does not. It makes me more paranoid. 
Because I start thinking like, okay, am I high? Am I not high? Is this what high feels like? Holy shit, am I going to come back to normal? Am I going to stay crazy like this? You know, it's my brain starts fucking running around. That's not for me, player. I can't. My friends try to get me high plenty of times. The homie Ernie, the one I was talking about, but I went to pretty, I mean, he tried to get me high a bunch of times. It didn't work. I freaked out every fucking time. I would fucking, I would literally, he's a fucking tall ass, like fucking cholo looking dude. We'll be ditching school, walking around the fucking neighborhood, all high, me stressing out. And then I would just tell him like, hey dude, can you like feel my heart? This fucking cholo looking dude just like in the middle of the street has his arm out on my chest trying to feel my heart. Yeah, hey, you're fine, fool. You're fine, dog. I'm like, no, it's like beating. Like, it's beating hard, huh? Like, drugs are not for me. Okay, CBD tampoco. CBD just makes me feel like super tired, where I just don't want to do anything. That's not my thing. I rather just work out, like play sports, and stick with that. Right? For those of you guys are battling anxiety, you guys are maybe feeling it for the first time in your life. And you're like, damn, dog, I never had this shit before. Fuck. Maybe a lot of people found out what panic attacks were because of the pandemic and it freaked you out. Well, let me tell you something right now, dude. Cool down. Nothing's going to happen to you. It's all in your head. I know it sounds fucking cliche. You think like, oh, everybody says that, but I just don't feel weird. I'm telling you right now, dude, everything's going to be fine. Be like, hey, tell your body, oh, shit, I'm having a panic attack. I'm supposed to be feeling this because I'm freaking out. I'm good. I'm going to let this shit ride out. Everything's going to be fine. I'm just going to sit through this. This is what it is. I would work out. But you know what? I'm going to go for a jog. You know, use that fucking energy to go jog and make force your body to just relax. Because you're going to be too tired to even be fucking freaking out. You'll be like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm tired. You take a fucking warm shower. Warm showers always help me out. Sometimes a cold shower just to, like, make it snap. Like, oh, snap out of it. And then go to a warm shower. And then that's it. It's over. It's done. You're fine. Okay? That's it. It's over. Over just like this episode. Ah, you like the transition? Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. So that is it for this week. Uh, episode 28. That's all I got for you guys. Um, make sure to stick tuned for, uh, stay tuned for next week's episode, right? And thank you so much. Hey, if you guys have been checking out those uh, Warzone videos, some of you guys that play video games, the Warzone I got I got some more of them coming out. You laughing right now because you think that's stupid, but it's it's my new hobby and I like it. And I'm with my bros and I'm with my best friend and we're playing and it's fucking dope. All right, don't look at me like that. Like I'm fucking seven years old and I'm excited about video games. I don't give a fuck. Video games is a shit now. Okay, my dad's looking at this right now, just like chinga. My dad called me talking shit. He's like, compa, you're gonna start making those pinche jueguitos, güey. No seas mamón, güey. Chinga, my andas como pendejo y en YouTube con y el podcast qué, güey, el video del del pinche juego, chinga su madre, el pinche podcast, güey. I like it. I don't care what you say. Uh, but yeah, that is the episode for this week. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos and check out the you know little Warzone videos, man. Have fun with those, all right? Uh, peace out. Take care and everything's gonna.